Hey, it's me, Pudog3, and today I am going to be reviewing Brothers Egg. Now, this is a weekly series where I recap and review each episode of Smiling Friends. I'm going to keep making these videos for the remainder of the season two premieres every week. And if this is something that you're interested in, uh, how about you hit the subscribe button so you can be notified any single time. I upload one of these new recap or reviews. And if you want, you can go check out my review from last week's episode, Erm the Boss Finds Love, and a ranked of every episode in season one. But before I begin, I would like to say thank you for all the Smiling Friends support again. Now, without further ado, I'm going to start the video like a freaking beast because that's what someone told me to do last week. Brother's Egg starts off where Pim and Charlie are tasked to make Jared Fogle smile. What, that, what, what, what's going on here? That was too far, man. Jared Fogle is a genuine f menace absolutely not i did not like that yeah he, he's a pet but now after the boss turns his face into a literal dog face pim and charlie are tasked to make a literal mad scientist smile named dr psychotic hey guys i'm editing this right now and i've come to the realization that his name is not dr psychotic his name is professor psychotic i don't know what's going on with me i think i have i have some kind of mental block i don't know what's going on i can't get any of these names right i apologize to the entire smiling friends community and creators for getting this wrong uh throughout the rest of the video i will be saying dr psychotic so i am very sorry about that anyways i doubt this man is certified as a actual doctor or professor so um, i don't think it matters all right bye guys when pim and charlie first arrive at dr psychotic's little lair he tells him his mad scientist scheme that he wants to make life he wants to create life with little eggs he wants to make a little homunculus for some reason while he's giving his whole spiel to pim and charlie he's being extremely extremely loud he's a mad scientist but he's also a loud scientist and this enrages his brother doug who's trying to watch tv with his girlfriend vanessa in the living room and doug is not a fan of the mad scientist behavior because he thinks it is ruining dr psychotic's life because of this doug kicks dr psychotic out the house Get the out! Go! Pim and Charlie quickly realized that making him smile by helping him create life is not the main concern. The real issue is that they have to settle this family feud between Dr. Psychotic and Mr. Rotoscope. So together, they speak of a plan in Spanish where Charlie's gonna go off and get Dr. Psychotic to leave these eggs alone and Pim is gonna go try to talk to his brother Doug and try to get him to you know change his mind about kicking Dr. Psychotic out the house. Next we split off into a very shrimps odyssey type dynamic where Charlie goes off one way and tries to help the hopeless romantic and Pim tries to help the human. Charlie recommends to Dr. Psychotic that he makes humans like every other human and uh, that clearly doesn't work because Dr. Psychotic does not know how to talk to women. Pim meets up with Doug at his work and we find out a crucial detail. Dr. Psychotic has made this lab because of the, the death of his mother and he, he kind of spent all the inheritance on this mad scientist lab and scheme, which is the reason why Doug is not a big fan of his antics. And after a small work incident, he decides that life's too short to be hating on your brother and he, and he decides why don't I go talk to him. They talk with their prepared scripts of why they're mad at each other, but after Dr. Psychotic brings up Doug's addiction to painkillers, we get an all out rotoscope fight. <laughs> Eventually their fighting leads to them going into Dr. Psychotic's laboratory where an egg finally hatches and it is like conscious and sentient this egg tells the two to stop fighting the brothers decide to raise this little egg homunculus overall i think this episode was actually fantastic and from what i gather from all the smiling friend fans online i think people will like this one because it is very reminiscent of like the random ah uh, encounters that happens in season one like i feel like every single scene has some kind of gimmick in it by the way i know there's at least two cameos in this i know there's one with the the weird cgi guys fighting over the the meat at the beginning and end of this episode and i know that they wrote a guy is a cameo but I don't know who those people are plus I'll probably have them on screen right now I do know that the rotoscope guy I'm pretty sure is the same guy who did curiosity killed the George I have seen that video in my YouTube recommendations and I have watched it each scene kind of has their own little gimmick between the rotoscope guy the construction site being filled with little fast-moving goblins that's hilarious to me I think that's really funny and Charlie eating at that restaurant where you just kill a little creature in the air 
and then eat it. Uh, that's, I think that's really funny. This episode's comedy was really good with like the quick whiplashes in like, oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I don't know how to describe that. I did really like how it started off with the Jared Fogel joke and it immediately went to the mad scientist angle where you thought, oh, he's gonna have to make this egg work. And then it went to Pim and Charlie having to solve a family dispute. Like what? And recently I've noticed a lot of the season two jokes kind of like build on top of each other. Like it's not quick, like little like, oh, here's a bird screaming. It's kind of like, here's a joke that's only funny because of things that happened earlier in the episode. A lot of that was seen in the Mr. President episode earlier in the season. This episode kind of goes back to the Smiling Friends season one kind of way of like, you don't know what's gonna happen next and that's why it's so like obnoxiously hilariously funny and i think the long-term jokes kind of work a lot better with like the storytelling aspect however uh i i understand a lot of people came to smiling friends originally because of like the quick fast-paced humor and like every scene there's gonna be an ongoing bit i'll admit i didn't know what to expect from this episode at all because i didn't really know much about that rotoscope guy but he was hilarious he had to be like my favorite part especially Especially like the the relationship between him and Dr. Psychotic was like hilarious because it felt very real which again Smiling Friends is very good at but overall I think this episode is really really good and uh, I hope that Smiling Friends continues the trend of never making a bad episode but that's about it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comment section down below and subscribe again if you really like these little recap slash reviews of the Smiling Friends episodes. So yeah, that's about it. I'll see you next week.